Thanks everybody for tuning in. Today we're going to do an unboxing, obviously, if you know, of Cthulhu Death May Die Season 2 box. It is an expansion for Cthulhu Death May Die and requires Death May Die. Uh, however, we're not doing a review, we're just going to do an unboxing. And uh, we also have a contest. If you are a subscriber, obviously you know, but I just want to mention it. If you're not a subscriber, for any subscriber that comments on any of my videos or our videos in the months of April 2020 through June 2020, you're going to be entered to win a copy of... Cthulhu Death May Die by Come On Games or Simon Games or Cool Mini or Not, whatever, and also Galatine Games. It's a game by Eric M. Malang and Rob Davio. And so I do want to mention, though, that this box, uh, obviously the cellophane's ripped there a little bit. However, it does have some damage. It must have been dropped or something on, on its journey here. Um, and then it has some rough corners. However, it's still sealed, still brand new. Everything is still in it. You see? And... Also, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Paladin, and this is Alex the Rogue, and we are Christian Adventure Gamers. So, let's dive into this box right now and show you what comes inside season All right, two. Alex, you want to crack open that plastic? I will try. Now, I like the way that this artwork looks. And so, as you see, uh, you actually have Cthulhu in the background in the white mist, reaching around the Cthulhu Death May Die logo. So the way I do my unboxing videos is I don't do any research, that way I know I don't do any research, that way I'm just as surprised as the people watching this video what comes inside. And I had people comment like you should do your research, that way you know exactly what's coming in it. It's like, you know, what's the fun of that? I want to be surprised. I want to be thrilled. Yeah. So hopefully you want to be the same. Okay? And also, you can get this copy of Season 2 from uh, GameNerds.com, I want to mention. And I will provide a link to, in the description below. So if you want to follow that over there and check out how much it is and if you're interested in getting it, especially if you win that Cthulhu Death May Die game. Or maybe you just can't wait. And I can also provide a link to Cthulhu Death May Die on GameNerds.com. So there you go. Win-win. And then here are some uh, map tiles there. So you want to open those up. And then we have a stack of other investigators. More, yeah. more investigators. More investigators. Look at that. We have, we have Luke here. He looks like he's a preacher or a father. So let's open that up while you're opening that up. Uh, come on, come on. Just open this a little bit, please. There we go. There we go, we got it. So possibly this could be Father Luke. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. And it says, Ayid? Ayid? Lad. Huh? Lad? Oh, it's a lad? Yeah. Okay. Vengeance belongs to the Lord, lad. Let me show you. Nice. So before we open these, let's go ahead and just look at these tiles real quick. And so I will zoom in on these. Okay, so they pop out pretty easy, so that's nice. Double-sided, obviously. So it looks like there is some kind of sacrifice going on there. Mm -hmm. What's that? Or they're roasting a demon for dinner. I don't know. Man. Yep. And it looks like a casino room. So if you have the unspeakable box, it would make a lot of sense to have Al Capone in this adventure. We have a market. Uh, looks like a... Uh, Playground, because you got hopscotch, merry-go-round, swings, and teeter-totters. Uh, I know, it is creepy, because it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. Alright, flip it over. Um, looks like a hallway, cave entrance. Uh, this looks like a church of some kind. It's kind of neat. The pews and the altar there. So, Alright, so let's go through the investigators. We have Luke. He is Father Luke from Lismore, Ireland. So it makes she's sense. Okay. Yep. Uh, we have Mary. She looks like she's like the girl from Death May Die, the little girl that, the, that puts everything on fire, the way she's dressed oh, yeah. and she's carrying her book. Uh, don't worry about me. It's just a flesh wound. So, uh, she's Mary Diaz, uh, Caracas, Venezuela. Okay. And then we have Mario. Uh, Mario, I wonder where his brother Luigi is. 
Uh, he's Sergeant Mario Regari, uh, Barry, Italy. I do not threaten. Instead, I make promises. Ooh, he is Intimidator Extraordinaire. We have Alex. Uh, he almost looks like um, uh, what is it, Martin Shore? Not Martin Shore. Uh, Rick Moranis. He almost looks like Rick Moranis. Uh, Alex Parker, Brisbane, Australia. Uh, he's got some funny looking socks there. Where's the socks outside of his pants? Somebody might actually try that. It'd be kind of cool. Then we have Sam the Farmer. Uh, Sam Wood from Wichita, Kansas. He's waiting for his daughter Dorothy to come back from riding tornadoes. Uh, says, don't let these vermin uh, trouble your, you none. Ain't nothing we can't sort out. I said that with too many pauses. Try that again. Don't let these vermin trouble you none. Ain't nothing we can't sort out. We have Tony the Sailor. Tony the Sailor, man. Um, Mechanist mate Tony Boyle. He is a New York City from New York. Uh, north is uh, North is to the North is to your right. Your other right. He is a Navy man. Looks like he's got a nice little uh, dagger there. We have uh, Halia. She looks like she is a um, I want to say witch doctor or something, some witch or something. Seer. Seer. Yes, that's a good word. Halia Haloth. She is from Hundora, Transylvania, Romania. I only reach this age due to the sight. Yep, so she's a seer. Uh, by the way, you should stop smoking, dear, today. But again, by the way, you should stop smoking, dear, today. Because she can see your future. Uh, and then we have uh, Margareth. Okay. She is from Munich, Germany. Margareth Richter. Uh, if the meat is too tough, you just need to sharpen. You just need a sharper knife. Ooh. That's the German one. Yep. Uh, Ariel. Uh, she's uh, Ariel of Venturi in Napoli, Italy. So I noticed a theme that there's a lot of people from Italy. Okay. Lion, sharks, elephants. Boring. Give me something that hunts back. She's a little crazy. Now here's a shaman. Uh, Adala. Uh, Adela, Vidal, Les Chaos, Haiti. Magic and religion are the same. So there are those. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. All right, so let's start with the investigator miniatures. If I can get it open. Uh, so I'll slide that out of the way. There we go. More tape. Please stop with the tape. So, let's see here, we got uh, this Italian general guy here, as you can see, and we have Luke, Father Luke, Farmer Sam, the Farmer and the Sam, the Farmer and the Sam, and we have the Navy man. we have uh, this guy here, the Navy man is Tony, yep, and we have the Shaman Lady, that's Alex, mm-hmm, we have the marker, uh, no, what was it, Margaret or something, the one that holds the book? I think you just went Mary. Out. Mary, that's it, Mary. Uh, that one is Mario. Mario? Yes. Okay. And then we have the lady that has the knives, who likes to cut Mar her meat. Margaret. Margaret, yep. And then we have the lady that looks for something to hunt her back. Ariel. Ariel. And then we have the witch doctor, or the shaman. Adela. Yep. And then we have the seer right here. So, right there. Let's put those back. Alright. I don't know how to pronounce the seer's name. Thalia? Possibly. And the sailor boy. Bummer Sam. Rolling around. Then 
Then we have like these ogre looking dudes. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that must go here. That goes there. She must go there. He must go here. All right. So then we have these things here. I'm not sure what these are. I haven't seen the monster cards for them. Those are kind of nasty looking. And we got quite a few of them. Boom. All right, so put those back. Here, I'll have to put those back when I'm pulling out the next ones. All right, so then we have these weird looking things here. Like this thing's got a hole through it. Looks like some kind of dinosaur. Like half dinosaur, half Cthulhu. Uh, another one of those here. And then we have like this weird floating brain looking thing. It's got, looks like it's walking on its fingers. There, got another one. And here's another looking crazy tongue slashing thing here. Imagine that hitting you with its tongue, trying to draw you in. Oh, this reminds me of the uh, dummy dogs. Kind of, yeah. Dummy dogs. And then this looks like some kind of spire, but obviously it's not just a spire. I think it's huge compared to what I see on the camera. So there we go. Let's see if I can stand it up. There we go. Because uh, it's got obviously legs and feet, so it's like looks like some kind of plant creature or something. And we have this beetle looking thing. The uh, beady eyes and wants to bite on some. Alright, so then we have these things here. They look like uh, some weird baki skinny creature thing. Here's another one of those lickers. I'm going to call it a licker for right now because I don't know what it is. It's got a really long tongue. It's going to lick. Alright, so another one of these. So I think what we need to do is actually pull out some monster cards and figure out what all these things are. We have this giant uh, tomato worm looking thing. Looks kind of gross. There. So we're going to get those stuff out of the way. Look at that. Yeah. And we have this giant dude here. Looks like he's ready for a hug. What do you say? You want a hug? I want a hug. Alright, so get that out of the way. And so let's start with uh, episode one from season two. Let's see what it says. Um, it's definitely got some creatures in it, so let's find out. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Comes with some new tokens. It comes with the episode card. And again, it does not have any pictures, just a bunch of information. And so I like it when they actually have pictures. So there's that. Uh, and then we have the episode one Strange uh, Monsters, Strange uh, Bedfellows Monsters. So we have the Techo Techo, which is this giant guy that wants a hug. Okay. Then we have the Elder Thing, which looks like this here, the Elder Thing, okay, and you have these tokens here, some Volt tokens, some Money tokens, some Diamond tokens, some Gold Bar tokens, so it looks like someone's trying to rob a bank, Discovery cards, which we're not going to go through because I don't want to give any spoilers, some Mythos cards there, uh, and so here is this here, as you can see, the te Techo Techo and then the Elder Thing, okay. So that is episode one. We go to episode two. Here, let's see what's in here. Okay, we have some crazy things in here. All right. Just what we need more fire, fire tokens yes more more fire tokens lovely 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 and it looks like a camp tokens here looks like there's camp tents and a fire in the center yeah and then there's discovery cards again not going to go through those and we have the mythos cards not going to go through those however we have the uh, episode card oh, look see this one actually has a picture see look isn't that awesome i love when they have the picture it gives you some detail and these are other actions you can take. These are specific to the episode, so every episode is going to have specific actions that you can possibly take. Uh, so like this one says, extinguish fire, make a roll, remove one fire token from the space from each success. And then you have a light fire, safe space, in a safe space, make a roll on a two or more successes, uh, place one fire token in your space. So we're probably trying to provide some kind of light. Map set up there. Okay, and then we have the monsters. We have a night gaunt and a flying... Pulp. Okay, 
So uh, Night Gaunt here, and then the Flying Pulp is that little thing with, um, here, these things. Here, right mm. there. It look, kind of looks like it's walking on its fingers. So yeah. There's those. All right, so then we have episode three to get to. Two, three. And then each episode is going to have a different picture on it. So it's nice. So here's episode one, Lady with the Gun. Episode two, The Lost in the Forest. And then episode three, looks like they're looking at a mansion in the background. There's some tokens. So we have Deacon, uh, Monsignor, Monsignor, Janitor, uh, Mother Superior, and then a Prefect. So it's kind of weird. Um, looks like a list of people here, and then alibis. So that's kind of weird. All right, then we have discovery cards, mythos cards. Then we have the uh, episode card. Look, no picture. I wish there was a picture. A lot of detail there. Okay. And then we have a, a ghoul. So the ghoul is... Um, oh, I bet that's what this is. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I thought it was the uh, other thing. This could that be possibly be a ghoul. I'm not sure. This? Yeah. No, the the uh, giant guy. This is the te Techo Techo. No, maybe. No, this is the Techo Techo. Yeah. Okay, so we have. So this is the Tetra Tetra. Then what is the ghoul? Is the ghoul in the first episode? In the first season? Look at the, the back of that box. Yes. Okay. So the ghoul is from season one. Then we have the star vampire. That's what I'm calling the liquor. It's called the star vampire. So, which makes sense because it kind of looks like the other vampire thing. Mm -hmm, the, the fire vampire? Mm -hmm, the fire vampire. So, yes. All right, next one, Whew. episode four. Some kind of artifact token, here we go, look at that, woo! Picture there, uh, looks like they're at a church. Okay, so we have some tokens here, it looks like uh, someone's digging a hole. Trap token, caves, uh, and then the artifact there. All right, so we have the Mythos cards, Discovery cards, again, not gonna go through those, not gonna worry about those. What? Shoot out at the HP Corral. So HP Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. So there is the card, the episode card, no pictures, a lot of detail. It says destroy the artifact and then dig. So you could be digging holes and destroy the artifact. Uh, set up. So the nice thing about it is the game doesn't take up a whole lot of space, as you can see. Uh, most of the setups aren't very big. And then we have the Haunting Horrors, that's what those are called. Those are in um, Mansion of Madness. Haunting Horror, except for the ones in the Mansion of Madness look more scary than these ones. Okay, so then we have the Bokrug, which is the this thing here. Yeah. The Bokrug! The Haunting Horrors. Okay, so putting a, a name with a face, I guess, in a sense. It's nice. And so if you don't know how to play um, Cthulhu Death May Die, you pick one episode, then you pick an Elder God to go with that episode. So you can play the same episode up to as many times as you have different Elder Gods. Now obviously there is a little bit of randomness with some of the cards that you have to shuffle and then redraw. Trying to open this up without breaking it. It lets me. There we go. All right. There we go. And here's the picture. Uh, this looks like a car chase. Okay, and then we have the Lady Luck. So here's the casino, obviously, casino, Lady Luck tokens. Discovery cards, casino security. I see, and then Mythos cards. Again, not going to go through those. And we have the Hound of Tindalus, Tindalus, 
which is that thing there. Mm -hmm. And then we have the worm, which is called a yug. So now this makes sense to have with the yo so thoth off, whatever. Yeah. That should have been with the, the yog soft off. So now it's in season two. So I wish I would have had that with the other thing. And then the, what, Barry, whatever his name was, mm -hmm. with the black goat expansion. So yes. So there's that. Wilbur. Wilbur that's it, Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Wilbur. Because it looks like he was part of the black goat. All right, right, one more episode box and we are done. We're breezing through this thing. All right, uh, here we go. Looks like there's quite a few tokens in this one. Come on, I know you want to come out. Come out of your hole. There we go. There we go, so we got these funky looking tokens here. Okay, we got some lady rocking in a rocking chair maybe. Uh, and uh, somebody in a white sheet and white hood. Yeah, that's not cool. And then we have someone with a paper. Who knows what they're doing there? And then we have the season two card here, episode card. And look, look at. It. Looks like someone is getting ready to run into a town with some fire. Looks like uh, some elder god is starting to come out of the fire. It looks like someone's got a flamethrower kind of. Looking at that. So then, um, here is the. Sorry, that was a monster card. This is the episode card. And look, a lot of details. Destroy soul. Uh, that's enough there. Then we have the Techo Techo, which is the thing over there. And then this is the Dimensional Shambler. Dimensional Shambler and then the, the, the uh, Techo Techo, which is the fat, ugly looking dude over there. So yep. Yeah. And Discovery Cards and Mythos. So, all right, well, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you have, please like and share. And don't forget, if you're a subscriber, to leave a comment below so you can be entered and win a copy of Cthulhu Death May Die. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.